Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 extends the ability for organizations to manage their master data efficiently with the Global Address Book by providing a flexible data model, reduce the complexity and database size of implementations by eliminating redundant data storage, providing a holistic view of a personal organization across the enterprise, and providing options to secure parties and private addresses and contact information. In this video, we will take a look at setting up the Global Address Book security options. For an overview of the Global Address Book features, please refer to the videos The Global Address Book in Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 and Creating Records with the Global Address Book. The Global Address Book is a central repository of people and organizations that play some role with your enterprise. These people and organizations are called parties, which we can see on the Global Address Book list page. We can see the various roles these parties play across all legal entities. For example, Adams Office Supply is a vendor in our CEC legal entity. Aaron Painter is a contact, and if we expand the Relationships Fast tab, we can see they're a contact for Fire Televisions. Or A Datum Corporation plays multiple roles across several of our legal entities. While these people and organizations can play multiple roles with our enterprise, their data, such as name, address, and contact information, is stored once and referred by the various party role records throughout the system. There are organizations that would like a more restricted view of the parties for a variety of reasons. Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 ships with options to secure the party information. There are two options available, secure by legal entity, and secure by address book, which we can see on the Global Address Book parameters form. Let's take a look first at securing parties by legal entity. If you turn on secure by legal entity, users will see parties that play a role in any legal entity they have access to. For example, I have two users, Alan and Kevin. On Alan's record, he has multiple security roles, and for each of the security roles, I have assigned him privileges to see a legal entity. Each security role needs to have the legal entity granted to them. If we take a look at Kevin's record, we can see he has access to a different legal entity. Once the administrator has assigned organizations and the Secure by Legal Entity option is marked in the Global Address Book parameters form, I can log in as Alan, who has access to CEU and CEUE legal entities. And when I create a customer record and view the parties in the drop down list, I see parties that only play a role in either CEE or CEU legal entity or do not play a role in any legal entity, such as Ads Interactive. If I log in as Kevin, who has access to only CEED legal entity and create a customer record, I would see only parties that play a role in CEED or do not play a role at all, such as Ads Interactive. The Secure by Legal Entity option is common with organizations that have multiple independent legal entities which have dedicated users to a single legal entity. I'll pause the recording to set up the data to demonstrate the Secure by Address Book option. Address Books are a new feature in Microsoft Dynamics AX2012, which allow organizations to group or categorize parties into user-defined address books. Parties can be assigned to one or more address books. Parties can then be secured by these address books, which would allow users to view parties and their associated party role records based on the address book they have access to. To set this up, first the administrator creates teams of users that should have access to each address book. In this case, Contoso has divided into three branches. You must also create a team that includes all users. Otherwise, if a user does not belong to a team, they will not have access to any parties. The next step is for the administrator to create the address books. 
again one for each branch. Once that is completed, they can assign the teams to each one of the address books. The last step is to turn on the security option in the global address book parameters form. As the administrator, let's see what the global address book page looks like. Since the administrator can see everything, I can see all of the address books. Filter down to view just branch 1, and we'll see there's one party in that address book, Basketball Stadium. If we log in as Kevin and look at the global address book list page, Kevin has access to only address book 1. If we filter this down to view address book 1, we can see Basketball Stadium. If we look at the customer list page, he has access to Basketball Stadium as well as any sales orders for Basketball Stadium. If we log in as Alan and look at the global address book list page, he only has access to branch 2 and 3, not to branch 1. So when Alan goes to look at the customer list page, he does not see the Basketball Stadium customer record, nor if he looks at the sales orders, will he see any sales orders for Basketball Stadium. The two security options are optional, but if you choose to use them, they could be used independently or together. These are a few of the new enhancements in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Global Address Book. For more information, please see the other papers and videos available on Partner and Customer Source. Thank you.